Hello, my lovely. Happy Thursday. Can you believe it's March? Here we are, another Thursday. The time is just trucking along. <laughs> but I wanted to come in here, just like I do every week, but I wanted to breathe a little bit of life into you this week. Um, with the beginning of a new month, with the realization that we're about to close out the first quarter of the year already, I want you to kind of uh, look back on, on where you were at the end of 2020, projecting into what you wanted your 21, 2021 to be. Maybe you had big goals, big vision, big action that you wanted to take, and maybe it hasn't worked out the way you'd hoped. Maybe you're not quite far along, as far along as you would have hoped. Maybe things have been a straight up shit show. <laughs> but I need you to hear me when I say this. No matter how messy your journey has been, there is always space for success. I'll say that again. No matter how messy your journey has been, there is always space for success because you always have the ability to choose what you do right now and what you do right now will project what your future looks like. So if things haven't gone your way, if things are, are, are going in the right direction, but maybe not as fast as you would hope, story of my life, maybe um, you're doing great, things are panning out and you're, you're kind of like, yes, one, you have to protect that momentum, right? You have to protect that momentum to keep your energy up, to keep your excitement up so that you can continue to do the things. So always believing in yourself, always understanding that what you do now is, is exactly what your future is going to be, right? So keep that energy if things are going well. If it's moving a little bit too slowly for you, just remember timing is everything just remember that if it was put in your heart it was put there for a reason and so you just have to stick with it your time will come it's just whether or not you're still there doing the things when it does that's the only question the time will come that's the inevitable that's a guaranteed but will you be there still doing the things to be able to capitalize on it when it does that's the that's the question only you can answer so keep doing the things, keep believing. Um, my business mentor once shared with me that we only stop taking action when we stop believing in our ability to achieve the goal. So belief has to be at the center of everything you do. It has to be at the center of your energy. It has to be the first thought when you wake up in the morning, when you are seeking these big, big changes in your life. So just keep going. And if it has been a total shit show, guess what? You get to choose again. Every day that you wake up, you get to choose again. And maybe you haven't been making the right choice for your future so far. But since you're listening to this, now you know, you can't pretend you don't know. So if you're not changing it, you're choosing it. And that is cliche, because it's true. So right here in this moment, you get to choose what your future is going to look like by the action you take today. Again, no matter how messy it has been so far, there is always space for success. You get to choose. So I wanted to share that message with you today because sometimes we just need to hear it, right? Sometimes we just need a little bit of that cheerleading kind of encouragement. Sometimes we need a little bit of that I'm not going to say tough love, it's just straight love, right? Sometimes we just need to hear from somebody else who's in the trenches with us of achievement or the seeking of, of particular goals that nobody has it all together. We're all just trying to figure it out. But belief and where your mindset is, is always going to be the determining factor of whether or not your goals become your reality because your belief system and where your mindset is, is going to determine the actions that you take. Okay, I hope this was helpful. Please let me know if it was. Drop a comment below, shoot me a message. If you're getting this off of my email list, then I'm always here to assist you. I'm always here to serve you. You can just reply to the email and we can talk about what it is in your life that you're trying to shift and adjust and how I could possibly help you in that process. If you're here on YouTube, give this a thumbs up. Maybe consider subscribing to my channel. I would love that. And all the links of where you can find me on my social, social media networks, as well as on my website, are in the caption below. Thank you for spending your time and your energy with me today. And I'll see you next week.